Hey lovelies, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So if you want to be able to sit down at your desk and focus and maintain your productivity and not feel like it's taking all of your strength and willpower to not get distracted, if you actually want to be able to easily or more effortlessly sit down and work, then keep watching. This is the video for you. I'm going to be talking about one of the main root causes for why we procrastinate and how to actually get on top of that and be able to easily sit down and focus and not feel like it's always such a chore and taking so much effort in this very distraction filled world. So if that sounds like something that you want to be able to do, keep watching. And if you find this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And before we get into the video, just a reminder, all of my resources will be linked down below, including my new book, Work-Life Balance Survival Guide, which is all about how to improve your productivity, optimize your days, and essentially get all of the important things done without getting overwhelmed. So I actually go a lot more in depth into this topic in that book. If you want to get a copy, links will be down below. But let's get straight into today's video. Now, in all of my years of researching this topic of productivity, one thing has really bothered me. And it's this assumption that we should just simply be able to sit down and focus and apply ourselves without any resistance and that we shouldn't really be coming up against any other obstacles because it's all about willpower. And that's simply not true. So for anyone that's been told to simply sit down and get working, if you're finding that hard, there is nothing wrong with you. It's actually that the issues are not being effectively addressed and that's what we're gonna do in today's video. To focus deeply on a task for an extended amount of time is not something that you can just do. Unlike how you can clean your desk or pack your bag or make your lunch or write a to-do list, this kind of focus actually takes practice and we expect that we should be able to turn on our focus almost like a light switch, but this is actually not the case and our ability to focus and for long enough periods of time to enter a state of deep productivity, it's actually getting worse. So why is that? It's actually really simple. We need to be training our focus muscle. And like you would work on any other muscle in your body, we need to flex it and use it regularly in order to develop it effectively. So how do we do this? First of all, it's really important to understand that people who hop from task to task, fragmenting their attention, they're the ones that are gonna find it a lot harder to sit down and stay on task when it really counts. Think of it like this, you don't just eat healthy one day a week or exercise once a month to keep your fitness or health in check. To see a real improvement and long-term positive change, you need to have a regular fitness routine and healthy diet. So the same goes for your focused muscle. You can't expect to be your most productive self and find yourself in a deep state of focus if you don't regularly allow your mind to concentrate on one task at a time for long enough. So when you regularly allow yourself to be distracted by others or by your own impulses, it has an impact that reaches beyond the task at hand. You aren't allowing yourself to flex your focus muscle and this creates a cycle of unproductive behavior that only you can break. So you might've heard of this term, weapons of mass distraction. It's because these seemingly harmless acts of checking our phone and having multiple tabs open on our browsers and scrolling through social media the second that we're waiting for something to come through in our emails or waiting for the kettle to boil. These things have really negative effects on our overall ability to focus and stay on task. So one of the easiest ways to flex our focus muscle is simply to be more mindful and to not feel the need to fill up any little tiny space in our day with more stimulation. So if you're waiting for a friend, if you're standing in a queue, if you're reading a book or if you're watching TV, don't go and reach for your phone at the same time. Allow yourself to be present and just do one thing at a time. If you're at your computer and you have one browser open, make sure to be disciplined enough to not open another tab and to break your focus or fragment your attention because that's the sort of stuff that really inhibits our ability to stay focused down the track. How you spend your time away from your desk 
is gonna have a huge influence on how you spend your time when you actually sit down to work. So just remember that you don't actually need a constant stream of stimulation. Your mind and your body, honestly, your body will thank you for it because the less overstimulated you become, the more relaxed you are, the more clear in your mind you can be, and the easier it is to then concentrate on a task. So comment below if you're guilty of checking your phone in the middle of tasks. If so, do you notice that it's in certain situations? So maybe it's when you're in a queue or you're waiting for a friend at a cafe, or do you happen to always check your phone when you're working at your desk and it's sort of like a little procrastination habit? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you found this video helpful. Also, I'll leave all of my resources down below if you want to improve your productivity and have better work-life balance, then you can go click the link to my new book, Work-Life Balance Survival Guide. But I also have another book, The High School Survival Guide, which will be down below as well. And that's all for your study tip and student needs. So go check them out and I'll see you very soon with another video. Mwah.